All right, I was uh, sitting here looking at this and checking it out a little bit more in detail. <laughs> this is connected to my dryer plug. And what it does is it takes electric from the house, brings it into this box, and it diverts the electric either one of two ways. On the right, you can see there's a gray plug down here. Uh, that is the extension cord that runs to my car. I'll show you that in a second, but you can see the label there. It says EV, so that's the EV plug. The other side says dryer, that's the dryer plug. The washer and dryer are right here. And uh, don't mind the clothes, of course this is a laundry room, but this little box here, we've been using it for about two weeks now, roughly, uh, since we moved in. I got it right away. and. It is working tremendously. I kind of want to show you how it works uh, in a video because it is pretty sweet. And uh, those people out there with electric vehicles, Teslas and everything else, you might want to look into doing this instead of hiring an electrician or running electric yourself if you have a panel close by. I don't have a panel up here. It's actually, I have two panels downstairs, two electrical panels. So running a... Uh, 30 amp or 50 amp plug up here um, is not the easiest so this is my solution let me uh, show you how it works you can see the voltage the amperage the kilowatt hours um, how much wattage we're using right now at one time uh, probably most of that power is coming from the lights on the Tesla charger which is on the other side of this door but let me just kind of walk you through this so the dryer plugs into here, right there, on that dryer plug. That's the plug for the dryer, and it plugs right in, or it's wired right into the dryer. Over here is the EV plug, and that's just an extension cord that runs all the way around my washer, and runs to right here. Now this cable is pretty thick, and it doesn't run under the door, so that's kind of why we have our Tesla plug coming under the door. Um, it's a little thinner in this situation right now works really well I may eventually run this cord outside we'll see um, this is kind of all testing at the moment but if you open up the door here um, you can see that it is run under the door plugs into the power brick on the Tesla you can see the lights there like I said that's probably what's causing the wattage on the uh, device in there to light up and tell you how many watts it has but that that's the only thing that's drawing electric and I mounted this Tesla plug holder on the wall which is nice we can curl up our power cord for the Tesla and we're just gonna run this to the car and we have the extension cord so that we can pull in forward and I have it I'm pretty far back in the garage so it doesn't reach all the way and we gotta kind of pull it but it's okay it'll make it but the cord is a little tight if I were to pull up a little bit more in the garage it would be just fine we just got to be careful about tripping over this cord right now <laughs> I may eventually run that cord through the wall like I said or do something special I don't really know yet we're we're playing around uh, to figure that out but Right now we're plugged into the Tesla and we are not charging because the Tesla doesn't charge until off peak hours or, or at least that's how I have the settings on the app. So let me pull up the app here so we can show you how this works. But uh, here's all the displays and here's the car. Uh, does it tell me the address? No, it doesn't. Okay. So it's sitting here saying it's parked or it's 69%. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, the blue indication means that the cord is plugged in, but it's not charging for those of you that have never seen something like this. We can charge at 24 amps. It's a 30 amp plug and that works very well and gives us quite a bit of charging. So we're gonna start the charging now um, instead of waiting for off peak hours so I can show you how this works. But we'll hit start charging on the app and you'll see on the device here, it'll start kicking up and you'll see the wattage go up 
and then the amperage will sit here and watch it climb and that currently is charging my car and we are at 24 amps now and we are at 5850 watts 242 volts and you can see the total kilowatt hours that I've uh, accumulated since we've had this and we're at 236.77 kilowatts that's how much energy we've been pulling from the grid to charge the car so the way this box works is if you are running the dryer it will automatically switch to the dryer shut off the charging to the car and it prioritizes the dryer because you don't really use the dryer all the time so it can detect when the dryer is running and when it's not so I'm going to turn the power on and when I start this it's going to switch over to the dryer automatically so I'm going to go ahead and hit start and you'll see immediately it starts changing numbers and it's now just pulling straight from the dryer and that's it so if we turn this off it will automatically flip back over to the car and start charging the car so this little box is pretty nifty and it's been working really well uh, we'll see it catch up here in just a second and once the car recognizes that it's charging again and it is charging again because the app is showing the uh, car bringing in power so we are now accumulating amps and watts and volts to charge the car and you don't have to run any electrical cables to use this system which is great so I'll leave a link in the description to this device. I will also provide updates while I'm using it to let you know how everything's going. But this little device here is pretty amazing if you have an electric vehicle. And it really helps with uh, the reducing the cost. Uh, this is $230 I think right now, right, right around there uh, in 2023. November of 2023. This is a must buy if you are moving into a house and have a laundry room next to your garage. Everything is controlled by this little device no matter if my wife is doing laundry or not. If she comes in here and throws some stuff in the dryer turns it on it's gonna start. It'll stop charging the car but since it charges fast. Normally we have this set up so during off peak hours it will start charging at that point which is around 1 a.m. I believe, or midnight. It all depends on how much electric's being used on the grid, I think. It automatically knows that. It starts the charging during off-peak hours and gets you, like I said, it only takes two hours, so at eight o'clock, we'll be fully charged to 90%. Much better than plugging in AC, just 120. That's what we've been doing for about a year. Uh, now that we have a place to actually charge the car, this is, most ideal and we never have to go to a supercharger unless we're traveling all right so now we're inside the car uh, we can see just how much it's pulling looks like we already added a kilowatt to the car but it'll take no time to get to 80 one hour and 20 minutes um, and this is from her driving 30 miles to work and 30 miles back about an hour of driving in an hour we're accumulating the same amount of charge that we're taking away in the morning that's pretty neat so i thought you guys would like to know um how that whole setup works i think it's really cool definitely worth the investment uh if you want to charge faster at home and not pay for an electrician i got a quote of i think it was like over a thousand dollars to have electric ran from the panel up to the garage i wasn't real interested in paying that much money so i paid 230 plus the cord i paid almost 300 dollars for everything to get this to work this is the bridia energy solution i'm not sponsored by them i bought that with my own money and i just wanted to share how well the product worked so far this is very early on in me owning this product, so we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, I'll let you know, but uh, so far so good. 
I'll uh, keep you informed. It does have a breaker on it, if you can see down there, uh, which I've actually used to, uh, when I unplug the cables and plug them in so I don't get shocked. Uh, so that's a nice feature too. So you can undo that. And if anything were to happen here, that breaker would trip. So far, everything seems to be working very well. I'm glad I found this product. It had really good reviews on Amazon when I was looking at it. And uh, I have not seen very many videos about it, so this might be one of the first you see. Uh, if you use the link down in the description, you do directly support the channel by buying it through my link with no additional cost to you. If I reach out to the company and get a coupon code or something, I'll let you know. Um, I haven't done that yet, but if I do, I'll put it in the description. Thanks for watching.